Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. Time to swing. Ah! So I put a poll out on Twitter last week asking you guys what I should go see at the movies this weekend. I had a choice of seeing the new animated film from Sony, which is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and my inner 80s child was tugging at my heartstrings saying to go see the new Travis Knight-directed film Bumblebee. But the fans had spoken, and you all said that I should go see Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And from what I had seen on Rotten Tomatoes, as well as all of the people here in the community, people were absolutely raving about this comic book film based around Spider-Man for a whole new generation to enjoy, especially considering the fact that it was animated. And I also thought that it has been quite some time since I've actually picked up some Spider-Man comic books. I thought that this would be a really great introduction for myself as an old-school Spider-Man fan to get a little bit more knowledge about some of these Spider-Verse characters, because I've been seeing everyone from Miles Morales, Spider-Man Noir, Spider-Gwen. These are characters that are predominant in Marvel Comics right now. So I personally felt that this could be my entryway to understanding more about how the world of Spider-Man has evolved. Well... I saw the movie, and I gotta tell you guys, I didn't really like it much. I thought that it was okay, but if you compare my thoughts and my review to what other people have been saying in this community, then you are all probably going to think that I thought that it was god-awful. But granted, there are some really good things to take away from this movie. First of all, the animation is truly one of a kind. I never saw something so original and artistic in my life. I don't know if there ever will be another film with this kind of animation. I I don't know if there will be a sequel of this film. I have a feeling at this point in time there might be, but I had never seen the comic book flowing style animation. It looked like it was very, very cheap, but there was so much complexity within it, which was what made it so out there and original. The soundtrack from Danny Pemberton, as well as the rest of the music throughout the film, is amazing. It was getting me pumping, my feet were tapping, I absolutely loved it. Even the voice cast was fantastic. I mean, you had Shamik Moore voicing Miles Morales from one of my favorite movies, Dope, but you also had Nicolas Cage, Lev Shriver, Haley Steinfeld, who also happened to be in Bumblebee, who knew? as well as Lily Tomlin as Aunt May. So there were so many great actors in this movie, and they all played their parts so well. I also really appreciated some of the characters in this film. Like, I definitely thought that Spider-Noir was very funny. I also thought that Penny Parker was really, really cute. And I also loved how each and every one of these spider people actually had a very unique animation style to really fit within their character. But at the end of the day... With all of these great things, the movie itself as a whole was just something that I couldn't get behind. I actually thought that this movie was having a very serious identity crisis. It really didn't know what it wanted to be. Was this supposed to be a heartfelt family film? Was it supposed to be a very serious drama? Was it supposed to be a parody of Spider-Man? I don't know, but there were points in time while I was watching this movie and I just felt very lost in regards to the story that it was trying to tell. I also felt that even though the animation was great, it was just so extreme and in your face. I really felt that I was going to have an epileptic seizure, even though I don't even have epilepsy. But it was just so in your face and bright lights and fast movement. I just found myself watching my head zip and zoom all across the screen just to try and make sure that I could follow everything. Not to mention the fact that I thought that the whole comic book theme with the little word bubbles and stuff like that, I really thought that it was over the top. It was really very Scott Pilgrim-esque. And there are so many other movies that have tried to do this, but they've all done it so much better than this film. Another thing that I really didn't like about this movie was how it just started to get stale and repetitive. And that was where I went into the parody thing. Because everybody knows that everybody's sick and tired of Spider-Man's origin story, but then they kept going back to telling different origin stories of each and every one of these spider people. And I was like, oh my god, you're seriously going to do this over and over and over again? Please stop. 
You're literally just saying that we are trying to make a 90-minute movie and we don't have anything to fill this gap, so let's just do this all over again with a different spider person. I just got flat out annoyed by that. But there is a great deal of homage to Spider-Man. I mean, there were really funny things that I saw throughout the film, like the Spider-Mobile and a whole bunch of different Spider-Man costumes. Although I do think that one of the major marks that they missed on was giving us Spider-Man 2099. I really feel that he should have been one of the Spider-Men in this film, and I think it would have given a lot of the old-school Spider-Man fans something really interesting to look at. I mean, there were a couple of other interesting things that old school Spider-Man fans appreciated in this film, even some things that we really didn't care to see, but we got them anyway, and they were done in very good taste. But quite frankly, as someone who doesn't really know much about these characters, I still feel that I don't know anything about these characters, and I really wanted to like them. Especially Miles Morales, who is such a landmark character in the Spider-Verse, I really feel that this film gave me next to nothing to desire to really get to love and know this character. I really do believe, however, that we are going to see Miles Morales in the MCU down the line. I mean, if Tom Holland has been signed on for all of these Spider-Man movies, I know for a solid fact that Kevin Feige is thinking there's going to come a movie where we're going to pass the torch over to Miles Morales, and there's going to be a movie where you've got both of these Spider-Men in a movie together in live action. I'm sure they'll find a fantastic young actor to play Miles Morales, and I think that they're going to do a much better job than Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I also feel that this is not my Spider-Man movie. This is really a movie for the new generation of Spider-Man fans, because they're the ones that are seeing it, and they're the ones that are embracing it. And quite frankly, I guess it's just that I'm too old. You know, I gave it a try, and I just didn't connect. But I'm pretty certain that this movie is going to be very successful because there are so many ways for it to be successful, especially towards the geared demographic, and I really feel that this movie is going to be something that Sony really needs at this point in time to continue to make Spider-Man films. But is this a movie that I want to see again? To be honest with you, no. I really do not because I didn't enjoy it this time. Maybe if I watched it one more time I might catch something that I miss, but at this point in time I really feel, especially when it comes to comic book films, if you don't enjoy it the first time, you're not going to enjoy it the second time. And do I want to get this movie on DVD? No. I do not. I don't feel that this is a movie that I enjoyed. I don't feel it's a movie that I would enjoy again. This is not even a movie that people that I know even want to see because they just don't think that it appeals to them. And quite frankly, after seeing this movie, I have to agree, and it's really kind of sad because I went into this movie really wanting to love it. Maybe I should have listened to my 80s inner child and went to see Bumblebee instead, so I am going to be giving Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse two and a half stars out of four. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please leave your comments in the box below, and let's discuss Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Now, if you want to throw out some hate my way, just, you know, keep it classy. I'll have a debate with you, but if you're going to basically throw out anything from identity politics to just plain you suck, then expect your comment to be deleted or reported. I'm sorry. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.